three weeks now since two local boys were shot while riding in the car with their mother's boyfriend, one of them killed. And tonight, the man who was driving that car talks from behind bars in an interview you'll only see on 23ABC. The ABC's Fabian Kay is live from the scene of that shooting with exclusive details on what he remembers from that night. Fabian. That's right, I spoke with Dave Bon Vercher today at Lairdo Maximum Facility, and he tells me the one thing that he wants everyone to know is that he would never, ever want something like this to happen to boys that he loved so much. Well, I left her house, and by the time I got to the corner, it was just firework. Vercher relives the night his girlfriend's sons were shot. I look back, I see my babies with blood on them. Man, I got to get my babies out of here. I got to get my babies to safety. Vercher says he drove them to the nearest hospital. I grabbed Case first because he was, you know, more, his injury was more serious than BJ. So I grabbed him, sprinted with him into the hospital, gave him to the nurses, came back, grabbed BJ, ran him in there, and then just, you know, just back and forth, just from this room to that room. But he wouldn't be by their side for long. Vercher says BPD detectives took him for questioning within 45 minutes of arriving at the hospital. Hours later, he was arrested and booked for a parole violation that dates back to 2015. A violation he says he already served jail time for. Like, how can I tell you something that I don't know, you know? Vercher believes he is unjustly being held in jail because he failed to provide police with any suspect information. Are y'all mad at me because I couldn't help you with anything, you know? Yeah, I don't know nothing, you know? I don't know who did this. I didn't see nobody. I didn't see no description. I can't give you a description of anything. When this bullet's flying at you, you're not trying to look around and see who's doing what. I'm thinking more about their safety than anything. He says he can't think of who would do such a thing. I don't have any enemies, you know? I haven't been in any beefs with nobody. If I knew, man, I would help, man. But I honestly don't know nothing. Vircher served 13 and a half years in prison for a 2002 shooting. He says that while detectives say he is a gang member, since his release in 2015, he has changed his life. I've been on the right path. I've been working, school, family. That's it. You know, I would never put my family in harm's way. You know, it's my job to protect my family. Bircher is now facing charges of possession of a firearm and ammunition, receiving stolen property, and participating in a street gang. He says his days in jail are spent thinking about the boys he considers his own. I got too many favorite memories of Casey because he was just a stand-up, <laughs> he was just a stand-up little boy. Him and BJ just, you know, you instantly fall in love with him when you meet him. Wishing he could be by their mother's side during this difficult time. Because, you know, I'm like her better half. So it's like, you know, it's hard. But, you know, she's strong mentally and spiritually. While he cannot change the hands of time, he says he would have done anything to change the outcome of that tragic night. I did not want them to experience nothing like that, you know. And it was like, man, if I could have took every single shot that they threw at that car in order for Case to live and for BJ not to experience something like that, man, I would have, I would have, I would have took that. Now, while Devon Vercher is not a suspect in the murder of Case and Guyton, the charges that he is facing now carry a maximum sentence of up to 12 years. He is expected back in court in one week, and we will continue to follow the case. For the full interview, you can head on over to our website, turn to 23.com in Central Bakersfield. I'm Faven K, 23.